So, Meredith, let me finish my goddamn story about no. Smash Brothers and going to with our friend Jason from MegaBearsFan.net to our other friend at the time who worked with uh, me and Jamie and Jason at Star Trek The Experience back in the the late 2000s. Wasn't well, quite The Experience. Uh, we went to go play... I forget what... We, we played board games every now and then. I think we were playing Lord of the Rings Risk because everyone had come to the... The proper conclusion, well, I mean, we don't need to cross that threshold now. Nope. Everyone had come to the proper conclusion by that point in our lives that Risk was kind of a bad game. And yeah. that there were better games, including Risk clones. Like, almost every alt-Risk solved many of Risk's problems, you know what alt I mean? Alt-Risk? Alt-Risk, like, you know, Risk blank. Uh, in this case, Lord of the Rings Risk. Uh, risk. I don't know what other Risks are there are, but there are... Oh, that's right. You have to come in running from the left, and I don't even fucking remember exactly. It's it's weird. Did you I, get it? I don't think I got it. I was just like, I don't want to deal with this. Okay, well, let's talk to Adam, right? This is an Adam talking room. It's time for an update. Yeah. Well, that was a. That's, you feel pretty badass now, don't you, with your Metroid powers? I bet you feel really cool, but that's dangerous. I gotta warn you. Yeah. We've matured, Amerith. We're an adult Metroid now. Are, are we now the Omega Metroid? <laughs> I mean, can we just blow up the planet and get the fuck out? No, we have to fucking kill him. And we have to fulfill our destiny first? Yeah, we have to kill Ravenbeak, because he killed Quiet Robe. Oh, it's it's revenge, basically? It's, it's, re it's revenge, yes, left. But I want, I want that no. door. What's through that door? I've never been through that door, and we can come through that door You've now. You've been through that door! That's how you got in this fucking room, you shit! Oh. Is this an ammo <laughs> refill station yes. so I can get my power bombs get back? Get your peebs back. Yeah, my peebs! Your, your personal best. Gee, I wonder if I uh, blow this mm, up. Maybe. Maybe. Or maybe we should go back and get another peeb. Yeah, that's a great idea, considering I've only got three. Three, yeah. Well, you kept dissuading me from getting all the other ones. Well, so, yeah. I did not. So, so we went to go play Lord of the Rings Risk, but he just happened to have Smash Brothers, and I think I knew. Like, we talked about the fact that we both enjoyed Smash Brothers before. I don't think I... Go up. Yeah. You just blew open the fucking door, and you're like, Let's I know. Go left. But yes, I did happen to have my controller with me because I was part of that that hard drive article. Was you know like ah, oh, he even had his he even had his controller with him, and I'm pretty sure nobody actually talked about playing Smash Brothers before he showed up. You know, it was like one of the one of the gags. And it's uh, uh, sorry, hard drive is one of those like onion. It's it's a parody news website for gaming news. Yeah, this feels powerbombable. No, okay. It's a big wall that o big door that's gonna open up. Yeah, I just want to screw attack you. Wow, I we figured it out, Amerith. We fi we've learned how to cause the game to lag frames. Aren't you proud of us? Yeah. Should I try to get that? You think right now? No, that was just like if you decide to shine spark up. Oh, uh, okay. Instead of space jumping. Okay. Oh, ow. You're gonna okay. You're gonna do the groundy. He's gonna be a jerk about it. And, oh, hi, I'm Cannon Man. <laughs> Cannon Man. I'm canon! Everything, I'm in this game for sure! Everything I say is true! <laughs> I'm canon man! Is that the next Mega Man? <laughs> canon man? Would you like to refill your printer ink? I'm canon man! <laughs> no, you didn't get this. Someone like the fucking comic in one of the Discord channels the other day. It's one of the channels that you're not paying attention to. Uh huh. And because someone was complaining about printers. And it was the whole like, oh hey printer, I just need a, I, I want to print this uh, this document here. And it's like, sorry, we're low on cyan. Said, That's okay, printer. This is just black and white. No, fuck you, low on cyan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. That's Sounds exactly like how printing. fucking printers are. All right, another. Ooh, we got the golden one. The, the golden chorizo. Yes, it is. <laughs> we finally got our golden chorizo. Are you happy? <laughs> so my fucking story. So we go to hang out with Damon, and he's got Smash Brothers. He's like, "Oh man, I'm so good at Smash Brothers. I love Smash." Now I've talked about it on the branch. I was competitively good at Smash. So when people say I'm good at Smash, it's 2006 so oh 
Oh, yeah, that's... the shield doesn't just break. Yeah. But if you notice, it turned blue. Yeah, which means I have to grab it really fast. Oh, damn it. Um, and so, you know, that's really vague. And I asked him, like, when you say you're good, how good are you? Because I tried to, like, hint, like, no, dude, I'm bringing my own controller to your house good. You know, like, like you, I I'm, can I'm not play competitive fucking... or not. And I ended up just pissing him the fuck off because, like, I was like, okay. He's like, I'm really good. I'm going to kick your ass. And I'm like, okay. And so we shit-talked a bunch back and forth. Like, I'm like, okay, we're having a grand old time. We're, we're shit talking. Was well, he like not even fucking in your league? Like, uh, so so you know, like how we talked about what I did in the cheat, the goon cheatament. Yeah. Like how how I went a little too ham on that first race where I just like broke busted out all the stops and like just demolished him. You went too hard. I demolished Damon. Like I just, I just like even with joke characters, he was a plaything to me, and I was basically like. Well, this is John from 15 years ago, so my social graces weren't that great. So it was just kind of like, like, oh, sorry, yeah, this is really easy for me. That did not make him happy. <laughs> that made him just madder. You know how Jamie gets mad and competitive? Damon was getting mad and competitive. I never played Smash Brothers with him again. In fact, I was never invited to his house again. I was not his friend anymore after that. I was like, I was, because I was this asshole who just came over to showboat. And be a dick to him. Like, you remember the, the, the episode we watched recently of um, of Deep Space Nine yeah. where Bashir and, like, fucking, uh, what's his name, O'Brien have the, the racquetball matches? Yeah. It was basically that shit. <laughs> um, and, and, yeah, again, like, 22-year-old John LeBranch does not know how to navigate his way even out of this, even after he is recognized, you know... There was a point where I knew what was happening, and that he was getting mad, and that I was coming off as an arrogant asshole. But at I, I, my jumps suck. I just I just didn't know how to how to get out of that situation. I just I was stuck. It was really there was awful. No good way. Out I of was situation. unlocked because he was also getting mad. Like he was gonna get mad if I just started letting him win too. Because so it was like you were clearly was, way better than I'd him, already o Kobayashi Maru'd myself, you know? Yeah. Um, and yeah, because I did that recently Co with the Co Cheetah. Kobayashi Kaskuru. Oh, by yourself. the way, a uh, Goon Cheetah update. I did win again. I yeah. won my next uh, race, and I did not go too ham. I did a little bit too much. Um, Lily Finn. We had, we had fun with it. Lily Finn, who was basically. She wasn't my nail in the coffin of, of League when she beat me in our um, League race, but if I had beat her. I think we would have won, right? We would have been made it into playoffs yes. if I had beaten her. If you had that win, it would, like turn that loss into a win, you would have been in playoffs instead of um, instead I of Dancy made a join or I think it would have been Kak instead of Kakariko Brew Crew. Okay, yeah. So yeah, it it feels bad. Definitely feels bad, man. Uh, but I beat her in the cheatament. Uh, so it feels good. She man. challenged me to a swordless match, and I'm like, okay, I can learn swordless. I learned swordless. I learned how to boot up a game genie. <laughs> and put a sword and into my a game. Sword. <laughs> she was not happy about that because she's like, "No, I wanted to play without a sword, and you have this like big advantage." And I'm like, "I have a big advantage in a cheating tournament." <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, don't get me wrong. I didn't want to make it that big of an advantage, but I expected her to do something like possibly exactly that. Exactly like I thought, same thing, like, like I thought we're gonna do exactly... swordless nudge nudge wink wink. Yeah, like... well, like I didn't know exactly what her cheats were, but I assumed she was gonna come with stronger cheats than the, the her first race, which was I stream sniped. You know, like, like that's not a strong cheat. Um, yeah, like do do stuff like we did where we were fucking doing co op. Okay, shit finally. Because like... oh. that that was like technically annoying to deal with like i don't think yeah oh we like, also co op that too like, like you you were helping co op helping me like you the, and our friend zeke uh the, the logistics of just dealing with that because we had to make three oh yeah it was really tough and you and i were or sorry not you but i was on multiple discord calls at once so as not to give away the whole you know bit the ruse yeah so that was fun trying to just carry out multiple conversations as as zeke is feeding you information about where my items are and Anyway, it ended up not being the funnest thing for them because it drug on too long. It was a multi-world. Uh, it, want... it did multi-world things, which, if you're not familiar with multi-world, it tends to drag on a little bit. Yeah, why don't you talk... Well, eh, we don't... I mean... There's, the details aren't important, right? I or mean, are they, if you want to talk about it? 
I don't know. This this fight's kind of dragging on. I mean, like I asked you how long we want to go on here, and you're like, yeah, John, you can do I, the next I episode. And now doing I'm like, a lot better against this guy cause because like, he's the other guys. Well, it's been a while since I've done these guys. I mean, you just fought one like last episode, ah, and you just suddenly can't counter worth a damn. Well, you know what? Tell you what, let's just. Oh. Well, I'm. Do do a pause maybe or. Ah, that was it. Yeah, you, you have you actually have a lot longer to grapple the shield than you think because. Uh, oh, I wasn't close cause, enough. Cause it's that like fade out time. Yeah. I don't know if you saw the one that you got did get on the counter, but. Uh, was that too early? Yeah, that was too early. Okay. Ah, okay. I'll take the death. All right, we'll come back in when I actually get that counter, and get the kill. Or or, or closer to the kill, yeah. Ah. All right, is that it? Yep, that's All it. All right, back, back in the to... episode and get our full life back. We did it. Your we got him. We mine. sucked it up. Okay, so so multi world can drag on because one, it took me like 50 minutes to set up with technical issues because I hadn't done it forever and just Sometimes it takes forever to set up because... It was also a very specific, like, multi Yes, thing, we like. requested a specific one because the the main... The, the one most don't, people don't used in. is made by a huge asshole, and we kind of all just wanted to shy away from it because of that association. Yeah. And we, honestly, we shouldn't have because it ended up costing us so much time that those two... Uh, our opponents, because we ended up making it a double. So, so well, was, yeah, two cool. races in the tournament were independently happening at the same time in two different worlds. Also, this is uh, quite the elevator ride, huh? Right. We're just it's like the best elevator. Are we being accelerated right now? Because Samus yes. looks like she's being accelerated. Yes, you are being accelerated. All right. And now we've stopped. Very suddenly. We didn't die. <laughs> okay, well. Let's go fight uh, Ravenbeak. Hey, Ravenbeak, uh, I'm guessing you have no idea we're coming for you, right? I mean, it's not like we've made a grand entrance or anything. Wow. Not like we, I feel like there's about five energy tanks we could have gone around and collected. Not, not between like we, now could, and then, we could, like, came up here in our special DBZ cannon, cannonball thing. Like, wow, this feels very much like a space pirate hideout. I mean, a little. Kind of, it feels very space piratey. I'm just saying, Ravenbeak. Are you a space pirate? Ravenbeak. Ravenbeak. I'm going to guess there are probably no power ups in here. Nope. It's the Torian. Of the game. Yep. I can go back though, right? Yes. Okay. Th th they did not point of no return. Ha ha, you can't go back and get anything anymore. Things. Yeah, I would assume they were going to tell us. That, um... Oh no, it's Zevite. Oh. No, I'm going to go around. It's on. Yeah? Power bomb. No, I don't want a power bomb. Okay, fine. Power bombs. Except you have to power bomb. All right, there. Everything's power bombed. <clears throat> you happy now? Yeah. What's up here? Is this a teleporting now? Uh, no, it's, it's an elevator. An elevator. How long? How far does this go? Oh, it's like an. Uh, oh, it's it's a throwback elevator. Is it gonna load screen us or just just put us in this little zone here? Oh. Um. Hey, we've been in one of these rooms a hundred times before. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably a bad idea here, Samus. You're probably giving Ravenbeak all your data. <laughs> Caused you to become a Metroid of Earth. We did it. We're the Metroid. You're the Metroid now, Samus. <laughs> Thoha genes? Is, is Samus not human? Is she Thoha? Um... Is... Oh. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. So, so Ravenbeak had to awaken our Metroid powers or some bullshit first. Okay, and that's why he kept us alive, and that's why it's been revealed. Your very existence poses a great threat to the galaxy. Yeah, I'm gonna suck it all up. <gasps> what if we're the villain that has to be taken down? Oh, 
no, no. I like a, I like us becoming a, a an evil galactic overlord that must be overthrown. I, I kind of like that angle. Every every Metroid game after this is a reboot of you becoming the villain that everyone else has to fight. John, yeah. Has Raven Beak been talking to us all the time? Is this not Adam? Yep, yep, this has been Raven Beak the whole time. My plan is the only way to bring order to the galaxy. Mm hmm. Fulfill your destiny, Samus. This is an order. Disobedience will not be tolerated. <laughs> so Raven Beak has been <laughs> talking to us the whole goddamn game. Fuck you. Or, or was it, or is John. it just this one instance? Yes, that's Ravenbeak, I get it. Um. Oh. Have we been captured for a long time? The f What? Yes, that's right, you just got fucking Darth Vader. Is this our adopted dad? Yes. The one who raised us? Yes. Raised us? Okay, well, uh... Uh, Plasma? Well, well, welcome to die. Uh, okay, these are his abilities. Uh, he's gonna kill me a lot, I'm guessing. <laughs> he, uh, he's, he's a little bit of a learning fight. Yeah! Well, he's, uh... He's strong. Is, he ain't no King K. Rule, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, not a pushover whatsoever. Uh... What was I supposed to do there? Morph into a ball? Either morph into a ball or slide. Okay. Oh, he's got martial arts skills too. Oh, yeah. and I can hit him. Okay, well, I'm gonna grind the fuck out of this fight, and we're mm. gonna show a few instances, and I'm gonna beat the guy and probably beat the game, maybe? I assume he's the final boss? Next time on the branch. No, John, Metroid is the final boss. Oh, right.